time for another quick tip, fellas. What the bloody heck just happened there? This quick tip is about bottles and uh, how to close them. If you have a bottle you like to use for a LARP, but you don't want to use a plastic cap, you actually can cut a cork one out of such. A cube made for to put sandpaper around it? Blah. Oh, uh, not English speaker, German. Okay, um, yeah, well, uh, okay, so essentially what the quick tip here is that uh, if you have like a bottle that you don't want to use like um, a plastic cap on, uh, now this doesn't use a plastic cap, but uh, like maybe this one, which use a metal cap. If you have a cork from like a wine bottle, and these things are huge, especially compared to the hole they come out of, um, you can take this and you can cut it down into a square or some other maybe not so um, rough shape uh, and just sand it down until it fits very nice and snug into your bottle. Of course, this doesn't really fit. <clears throat> But yeah, uh, I've actually tried this in the past and I must admit I've probably been slightly stupid because uh, I didn't think about using sandpaper. I just tried to cut one down using a knife um, and that didn't work that well. So it, it became sort of rocket. And of course there was holes everywhere so I couldn't really put my bottle in my bag. So I was trying to sort of patch it up with using a piece of cloth around it uh, to sort of tighten it even more. But of course cloth soaks up the water or whatever you have in the bottle and it's, it's gonna leak anyhow but yeah i actually do think if you use sandpaper th this could work i might test it out in a in a small tutorial at some point and one thing i always do is that i actually hide my wine cork thingies um, a lot of them are essentially plastic nowadays or they have like um, maybe a metal lead or something like that um, that you can screw on and if you can screw it on it's kind of nice to keep it with the bottle, if you want the bottle, uh, like this one here, which has a metal cap, and you can take it off, uh, screw it on, screw it on. Now it's green right now, but this is, I can sand this off, or really, in this case, I can uh, actually wash it off. So I can get this off and maybe paint it in some other color. But if you don't want to use like the screw thing, yeah, getting a cork, just cut it down and sand it. It's actually kind of nice and a really simple idea. I can't believe I haven't thought about using sandpaper before for this. Now obviously I've not tried it, I always try to find a bottle that sort of fits with the cork that I, I have. Even better, I go out and buy a bottle I want that actually have a cork in it uh, and just get the label off somehow. Or I get something with a metal lid or a, a screw lid that I also want and then I use this because I know this is tight, I know this is not gonna leak, I'm not particularly sure about this one. I'm a little afraid to keep this in my bag with all the rest of the stuff. Like I said, the cork that comes from wine bottles are huge compared to the flask that they come out of. And essentially you could use a lot of force to put these into properly yeah, any sort of flask as long as it fits. Now I don't know if this is also going to work with the newer plastic cork, um, which is not cork but plastic. So if you're going to test this out, make sure you get a cork and also test if it's actually uh, tight enough. Yeah, maybe make it like slightly bigger so you actually have to use a little force force to get it in. And like I said, out, remember to test it out before you put it into your bag, because if it's leaking, your whole bag is gonna be soaked. And honestly, it sucks. Like I said last time, if you have any sort of posters or finger magics that you might think could look cool up on this wall, I have an email down in the, um, I've, um, what is it, the description, the finger magic, the description, that's what it's called. I think it's a comments last time. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but put it down in the, no. I'm going to put an email down in the description so you guys can send it to me. Ha. Or contact me if you have something else that you want to hang up on the wall. Because it, yeah, it could be kind of cool to make it a little more interesting than just a concrete wall. Secondly, uh, remember the Lunar scenario, it's in September and there is going to pop up uh, probably a few more videos on the channel about this. Uh, some of you guys have already seen there is like a booking guide, uh, which has nothing to do with Lab Forge, um, but uh, it's about the Lunar scenario, which again, it's a Mythodea, uh, Settlers Con. Uh, it's what basically what it's called. It's it's in a LARP set in the, the Mythodea setting. Um, as a smaller version that uh, the first one that uh, some of us are making together with uh, Österskov and uh, some uh, 
other people. Uh, it's just called the LARP school, if you don't know, and we're gonna hell it in their LARP city in their backyard. Anyway, I'm also gonna put a link to that in the doodly doo. I don't know why I say doodly doo, I should just say description. So if you're interested in that LARP, go check out the link and um, yeah, share it with your friends and people and all around. Although it is held in Denmark, so yeah. Anyway, still, I'm gonna put a link down there if you wanna check it out. If you guys have any quick tips, advices, LARP advices, quick tip advices uh, for LARPs and such, put that down in the comment section. And uh, it's gonna pop up here in a video at some time, at some point in the future, so we can spread each other's advices about LARP with other LARPers in the world, and um, everybody can become a little more smarter. Anyway, that's it for this time, guys. I'm going to make some tutorials. See LARPers later. I'm go I was gonna say blader. I meant later. Bye. <laughs>